I'm Dr. Jenny Andrus. I'm, I'm a physician here at Orthopedic and Spine Center. Um, and I do electrodiagnostic studies, or EMG. They're also, and part of that is called nerve conduction studies. So the, the thing to know is what do you get out of it? What's the point of having this test done? What nerve conduction studies do is they help to look for a particular nerve injury. So that can guide your doctor as to whether you have pinched nerve, for instance, at the wrist, like in carpal tunnel syndrome, or at the neck, and, and for instance, in radiculopathy, or in the back, in radiculopathy or sciatica. So these things help to, to differentiate what's causing the pain, because oftentimes nerve pains can overlap and can one can mimic the other. Now, the study itself, how long it takes varies from, from person to person and how much we're actually doing. It can take 15 minutes or it can take closer to 45 minutes. The first part is called the nerve conduction study. So that part is checking to see what the response of time of the nerve is and whether that response is normal. It feels like a little electrical zing. Um, I've heard it described a couple ways. I've done it to myself, so I know what it feels like. Um, but it often, if you've ever put a 9-volt battery on your tongue as a kid, it feels something like that. Um, that test, part of the test, just takes a few minutes. And it's more of a, of a nuisance, I think, the, the sensation more than a discomfort. There's no residuals after that. Once that's done, you don't feel that sensation any longer. The second part is called the electromyography part. So that's where the little needle is inserted into the muscle. It's a very thin needle, and it feels more like almost if you've gotten a flu shot before. It's that type of, of sensation. But there's no injection. When you get a shot, it's the injection part. It's what the, gets pushed in that hurts. Um, when you get this part, you just feel the needle prick. It depend, the, how many muscles are tested really depends on what we're looking for. It's typically going to be somewhere around five pokes, um, for instance, on your arm or five pokes on your leg. Sometimes they're done on the neck or the back um, as well to, to differentiate that. And then in, during that part of the test, we're actually listening to the muscle and listening for some uh, abnormal activity. It's real important during that part that you try to relax. And I know that seems counterintuitive. Someone's sticking something in you. You don't tend to relax. But it's really important to try to relax your muscles. And once you do that, you'll actually be able to hear with the physician who's doing your study that the muscle relaxes and they can listen to the activity better. And then they'll ask you to contract it slightly to see what the contraction looks like on the screen.